Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Sean from the Detroit Diz, and uh, today I have a couple things to tell you about that's happening in Walt Disney World. But before we get started, just go ahead and mash that subscribe button, shall you? So, uh, a few things have uh, gone on there in Walt Disney World. A lot of news. I am not going to be covering them all today, but here's a couple things. First of all, uh, there's going to be a new pass holder magnet. Now, I got to say, that if you remember, everybody now can get an annual pass, and, um, and that means there's going to be a lot more magnets coming out. I'm really enthused. I mean, I have a plenty. I have plenty of magnets on my refrigerator from the annual passes, and now I look forward to getting more of them. But uh, it, yeah, and they're always exciting when they come out, and everybody's just can't wait to get their hands on one of these annual pass magnets. So uh, I'm sure this year, the annual pa uh, this time around, the annual pass magnet, some people will be like, mm, I don't know if I really want that, but it's okay uh, because it's going to be figment and I love figment. Uh, I know that he was on some previous magnets and I'm pretty sure that this magnet is just going to look as epic as it was the last time. So, uh, look, uh, keep your eyes open for the new Figment magnet for the annual pass holders that's coming out uh, pretty, pretty, pretty soon. Okay. Also, uh, uh, I know I found out that uh, uh, Disney World has uh, has the lowest uh, price tickets in years, according to uh, Inside of the Magic. Uh, they said that you can get a uh, the newest thing is a four-day park magic ticket, that, which is going to be $99 a day, which is about $396 plus some uh, tax, and uh, that's going to be something else. This four-park park magic pass, uh, uh, you'll have to read all about it uh, over there at the Disney uh, website, but I think that's going to be really great. I mean, that's three, that's $99. Usually it's over a hundred dollars lately to go to some of the parks and, uh, you know, and whatnot, but uh, four day uh, tickets, you can go to a park a day. Uh, if you remember the new rules, they're going to be going to be taking effect is that, uh, per day tickets are not going to be needing any reservations. So this is perfect. You don't have to make a reservation. You go to whatever park you want to per day. Though probably, I don't think there's any park hopping in these tickets, but you just go to whatever park you're going to go to that day without a reservation because they're per day tickets. And it only is going to cost you $396 or something like that. Anyways, so those are a couple of things that I thought I would tell you about just right quick uh, and uh, this morning. And you guys have a great day. Remember to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you later on. Over and out.